gonna give you guys my final thoughts of the death of Slim Shady. I listened to this album two to three to four times already, and I'm not feeling the execution of the album. So before y'all jump in my comments judging me, I listen to it, I'm a fan. But as a fan, I wanted so much more. You saying you wanna get canceled. Well, do some stuff and say some stuff that can really get you canceled. Talking about Gen Z and trans people and Candace Owens and political shit, that's not it. It's not. It's not. This album was incomplete. It feels like he was just rambling and saying a whole bunch of nothing. Joe Budden. Joe Budden. Made a valid point when he was saying he ain't been saying shit the last few years. You ain't dropped a record in four years. And you ain't talking about shit but a bunch of freaking bullshit. I don't want to hear you rapping fast. I don't want to hear you just saying a whole bunch of freaking words. Dabbity, 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 that's, that's all I'm hearing. That's all I'm hearing. And y'all just dick riding and glazing the shit out of it. Like this nigga could eat, sleep, and shit on the record, and y'all would fucking eat it up. I'm a fan, but it's okay. If It's okay to say you're not feeling the execution of what the fuck you just got. Because this wasn't fucking it. He should have made it a fucking double album. Made one side M and one side Slim Shady. And then kill it towards the fucking end. You put a fucking pop song at the fucking end of it. What kind of fucking shit is this? Like, what fucking direction are you supposed to go? Temporary? Can somebody save me? It's two good songs. They're great. They're great. I like the story matter and the concept part of that. But outside of that, and probably Fuel... Where the fuck is this shit going? I'm not gonna sit here and dick ride it and say, oh my God, he, he just did something. He didn't do nothing groundbreaking. He just fucking stuck to the fucking formula in trying to sound politically correct. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna sit here and do all that and, and, and give it the glory, cause it's not. It's not his best album, it's not. It's not, it's not better than music to be murdered by. It's fucking not, can't be. Not even fucking half a percent close to the shit. It's not better than Marshall Mathers LP 2. He started that album off with Bad Guy, with a sequel to Stan. Like, there's concepts on that album. Recovery had a fucking concept. Like, yo, if you wasn't feeling my last album, I was coming off of drugs, and I was returning to form. Why you didn't do a fucking song with Rihanna? Do songs with the younger generation. Yes, the dude don't gotta prove nothing. Yes, he's 51 years old. I get it, I get it. He took the time to make this fucking shit. And then he gave us fucking Brand New Dance, which was supposed to come out in 2004. Then why the fuck did you drop it now? I don't fucking want that. I don't fucking want something that was supposed to be on Encore. I wanted something that's fucking fire with better execution and fucking storytelling. Where's the songs like Stan at? Where's that at? I want that. Give me a love the way you lie. Give me that. Give me something along the lines of Not Afraid. Those are fucking concepts. This shit don't got no fucking concept. I'm not gonna dick ride it and fucking give it a fucking 10 out of 10 when it's not that. It's a fucking 6.2. I had it at 6.5, but I bring that shit down to a fucking 6.2. Because I wanted the storytelling, the controversy, the, the go balls out and go bananas with it. This shit ain't it. And you're fucking lying if you're fucking saying that it is because it's not. This ain't it. I like a few songs on here, 
no more than six to seven songs, but the rest is fucking bullshit and fucking skits. All these goddamn skits and don't mean shit. And y'all just eating this shit up, saying he's back, and it's his best album since Marshall Mathers LP2. No, the fuck it's not. This shit goes at the goddamn end before revival. That's how fucking much this fucking shit is. I'm not gonna glaze it. And I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. So you can hate me with this review and my afterthoughts on this, but this ain't fucking it. You should have did a fucking double album. That would have been a better concept. Fucking 22 songs and a whole bunch of bullshit. The fuck, man? Like, what the fuck? And y'all niggas just fucking dick ride the shit out of it and say it's the hardest album he's put out in a decade. No, but fuck it's not. It ain't better than Recovery. It's not even better than fucking Relapse. At least Relapse had a concept to it. This shit don't got that. I'm a big fan. Big stan. But I'm not gonna sit here and move the goalposts because you're trying to sound politically correct or say, oh, I want to kill the alter ego. This ain't the fucking way to do it. You don't end the album saying, I want to kill my alter ego with somebody save me. And Guilty Conscience too fucking sucks. Sorry, but I would have preferred him to call it something else. You should have had Dr. Dre on it. There should have been a hell of a more conceptual route he went with the fucking song. And can we even say he really killed Slim Shady on this album? Because I don't see it. I don't. It just don't make sense. None of this shit does. And y'all just skip Ring Around the Rosie past it. Yes, he's he's got a few great punchlines here and there. But fuck, man, fuck. You're not fucking saying nothing. Stop fucking rapping fast. I don't want him to go back to drugs, but goddamn, go back to the the stories and the real, real thought-provoking lyrics. The Eminem show was a conceptual album. It's my favorite album by M. Like, from top to bottom. You can understand that album from top to bottom. You can't understand that with the death of Slim Shady. You just fucking can't. And to say you should listen to it from beginning to end, take fucking Houdini off. Take Toby off. That's a fucking Eminem feature. Take that bullshit off. Take Road Rage off. Or, matter of fact, with Road Rage, he should have made that a conceptual storytelling song. Not what the fuck that shit was. I don't fucking want that. I just wanted more from my favorite artist in 2024. It's not a classic. It's a little mediocre. Just a little bit. But this woke and talking about Gen Z and TikTokers and, and I don't give a fuck about that. I don't want to fucking hear about Caitlyn Jenner. Like, nigga, is that the only trans person you know in this world? The fuck are we talking about, bro? Like, damn. Like, this shit pisses me off. I'm a big hip hop fan. I love lyricism. But god damn, bro. Give me some fucking better shit than this bullshit. I'm just saying. I don't fucking like it. The execution is horrible. There's no storytelling songs. And don't you guys fucking say it is because it's not. Ooh, ooh, I just rhymed a bunch of words saying this. Ooh, I, I rhymed it with that. Ooh, yeah. Let me talk about this one. I don't give a fuck about what goes on social media. Stop trying to sound so goddamn woke, bro. I don't care. I want you to get back to what you was at. Or go back to what you was at on them other albums. But this shit. This shit. The Death of Slim Shady. That's a hell of a title. Hell of a title to live up to. To me, this ain't the Death of Slim Shady. I just... This ain't it, man. This ain't it. Sorry. But this ain't it. I'm not feeling this album. I tried. I like a few songs. But it's not going to justify this as a whole, as a complete package. It just don't work. 
sorry. This is just my thoughts. It's my little rant. Hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Peace.